past dark cover that's in position as well. The lack of a wall means they have to just go left. for this dry plant, and you might see a peek come through here. There's the spray. It's actually BCJ in response. Now the retake is underway, and the frenzies are firing back and forth. Your boy Dre from backside default still alive. Swings back oh around my. towards the default position in front of APC. It's now a 1v1 between him and the Rays, and Aaron flies in with El Clasico. Xset picks up the pistol round with the APC and triple. Now off a fake plant, you force your opponents to come out through the smokes and you had the crossfire setup from APC and from bench so it turned out pretty well with the frenzies the randomness of that it comes into their uh, into the favor of exit in the end and speaking about exit they come out on top two on this pinch on mid sands and uh, it's going to be this tube advantage now for exit to try to move up towards B camera over on A but the action over on B it's all down to Moose. He's inside Hookah. He's got targets building up on the site. Does he get there to stop this spike plant, or do they turn around and check it? They do. Now they can take port and get out of here if they really want to, but Weedid's feeling thirsty right now, and you know he wants the ace, BCJ says. <laughs> what I do like about the buy with the shares here, and how you can see the change, change uh, the playstyle change a little bit for LG, is that they could be a little bit more aggressive. Why? Because Exit really only has a paranoia to work as for Flash. So you could try to go for those body peaks and try to go for the, the mid-range early headshot with the shares and try to escape from it. But unfortunately, it doesn't pay off as when we're trying to lean out towards the sands, there's a boom bot coming. So that was a great way to counter that. And that's where Exit pretty much him up into a better position and it's just a so dry good. battle that's well played the hat goes out as well not only does it give away the positions but now he's got that tiny head that'd be so <laughs> hard to get hit with you've got bcj coming through from showers they're storming the site fast hot and heavy you've got thwifo right inside that smoke is a proto and it's a quick and easy kill for thwifo things are piling up here for except but they've still got a fighting chance thanks to the work that was done by stellar but it'll still fall onto one. It's Moose, who's in that hero position again, and in the last map couldn't quite capitalize on it, unlike he did in the series against 100 Thieves. Who else than Moose once again on a clutch attempt with that camera now giving his position away. The tap onto the spike, the big paranoia, the double swing as he, uh, towards uh, from BCJ towards that spawn site. So it's very well done. Expect that every single time you have a showstopper right away, and you have to be ready for LG. A Proto on the site with his trusty Sheriff. You know, just like I do, that A Proto is deadly with that Sheriff. Peeks through, oh. quick shot, <laughs> but was not anticipating everyone waiting on the other side staring at it. You still got Stellar with the rifle up in heaven. There's an opportunity for these guys to actually get out of here and go for the port out. Uh, you've got everyone Feel positioned over towards that side. The recon dart is taken care of pretty quickly. They're still tapping the spike here, so they want to stick to this A site, which is interesting given what's waiting for them. I feel like that's a bit of a misplay here. Moose is able to drop the planter, and we did. Now you can see their decision-making yeah, process trying to get away. Pure actually kills Stellar on the back pedal. So he's moonwalking his way to that portal and in the process guns down Stellar, which flattens out what is left remaining here for LG. It's just Moose. Can he make it through? A beast with the sheriff but still armorless in a 1v2 and they've got great positioning there's nothing make sure that you warm up a little bit as well saying like okay i have the confidence i just want to see that shot i just want to tap it right away aim at the head hit their head directly and now they expect this type of wall and a boost uh, it's not the first time that we see stellar do this where he got punished by it too so unfortunate with a, a good round that they had in the beginning of the round, it turns out to be not so great at the beginning of this one. And BCJ locks up right away with the Hunter's Fury to drop Moose. So that's a weak and a peace site. On top of that, with two more dying, look at the aggression, the execution from Exet. It's not, hey, let's try to get a plant and play back and watch the angles. They're pushing all the way for the control. Three players, four players already towards spawn on a pulse plant. That is 
gain any type of information on map control. You're trying to be very reactionary and try to play for the retakes with the uh, utility and the kits that Sova has, but it has been paying off. You, ha you need players now that if you're playing passive, the anchors like this man, a proto, has to step up. And he does so with two kills. Your boy Dre with two of his own on the reaction of them. Shadow stepping into the site. And Twyfo, though, meanwhile, does have control of you. He's the last man standing. Only has 50 HP. The spike is down. Finally, we have a third point on the board now for LG. Time for the rotation to come out for the LG team back towards the defender spawn and they're gonna run out with these showstopper very soon as soon as we have a proto clearing out the site. He gets the first kill onto Weeded at the front of towels at the front of pocket a big trade and maybe this time now okay he gets pinged out you have the res let's see if they can hold it back no the res doesn't work out because it's on the flank. That was a brutal shot coming out that helps make things a little bit easier here. The shock darts come through. There's the tap on the spike. Spike, excuse me. For the conversation of the tier one into the BCTs, it's tournaments that has a lot of exits. It's tournaments that have a lot of immortals, and they've had face to face uh, before. This is the fourth time that these two teams meet against each other, so they kind of know that playstyle too, right? So it's not necessarily only on these performance. It's know also exactly. knowing the playstyle of LG because they've been up so many times for exit. This is brutal yet again here for LG. Stellar is inside Puka and his teammate gets flushed out as the nade lands and splits them apart. There's the ult coming in and uh, yeah, Stellar's dead. Yep. <laughs> Nothing that can be done. Stellar has one choice and that's running across openly through Huka. And with players positioned potentially in spawn, the fear of going for that wide of a swing could result in your demise either way. The hopes is that tucking into the corner, they'll think you already moved and that's not going to be the case today. It's down to the last player, your boy Dre. Used one of them, but at least that wall is good for Elbow. It should be good for a plant too. And now it's going to be an all-out brawl for a retake. You have two players that are low for LG. You have the attempt for Exit to come back here with the Frenzies and Ghosts. And you're already pushing through the cages. But Stellar on the top, inside the top rather. And on top is going to be Thief. But it's still going to be Stellar with the hat trick. Making it a four versus one. Last one that was trying to push towards Elbow. Well, surprise, it's a wall. So he literally runs into a wall. And he tries to fall back here towards the spawn side. And that's where the crossfire is going to be even better now. With We'll see a safer approach. Much more disciplined, one might say, from Xset. Now, it doesn't really work out so well for them early as we see the aggressive plays coming out here. But they do bring it down to three. Swifo is on a lurk from over on the A site, and it seems unlikely that he's going to net anything in this scenario. He's playing off the cam, looking for potentially targets that could be coming through, but the rest of the team from LG is grouping up and heading in towards the B site. The spike will be planted momentarily. You've got the cam going down as well. There's tripwires down on short. So that could be part of the reason why we're not seeing that rotate yet. Yeah, there you go. You can see the getting caught by the tripwire. That's why that ends up being the case. Tries to leap over it just in case he can catch him off guard, but it's just a little too high for him to get that verticality. Spike planted. Well, I thought I lost my co-caster here, and <laughs> we've had some issues on the technical side. Do apologize for the silence. It looks like we've got to take over on the B site. Thief in position, back site, waiting for the dash to come through. That could, does end up working out for the first player in. It's pure, though, get, getting dropped inside the tube. X set. They get round number 11. And they'll be able to defuse that spike. Vansilly, are you back? Did we lose you? I thought you took over an accident. Dump and dash out if he can. And it's going to be difficult to get over that hurdle. So there you go. The exit currently coming through. The spike was actually being planted over on the A site in the meantime. As they've got control of that site as well. But here comes the port out onto the site. And Pure just gets sniped out of the sky by the rocket from Thief. So much for the blade storm. Exit. Not able to stop the plant, but quick kills coming out from BCJ make it a little bit more manageable for the last remaining player. It's an omen who's already up from long. It's a one for one. 
One player remains, and it's your boy Dre is holding that position though, watching short. Aaron, not really the threat I feel like he needs to concern himself with currently, as the closer target is actually going to be in spawn. That's BCJ. Now the Owl Drone will give that away. So they'll take care of that Owl Drone, and we might see the swing here from BCJ in just a moment towards the fence. Aaron now finally coming up from short. You can see the doubt starting to play out here for your boy Dre as he starts to check towards spawn. It's really well timed from Aaron, and they're actually bringing it together. Aaron's got four on the round. It's down to the last player here for LG. It's going to be a proto, but it's not enough. BCJ in there in time. Do they have enough clock to get the defuse? It's going to be close, but they should oh, yeah. have it. As X set with two seconds left on the clock, secure round number two. He had those kills. He could have rotated back towards the spawn sign. That's why he was even crouching and holding for as long as he can as strong as they want to be on a map like Bind. Where is everyone? Cage trigger. Swifo gets aggressive in the showers. You've got BCJ now. Firing long electrical pulses towards LG, who is just oh, man. getting bullied in the round. Swifo with a jumping classic. And it's not really a surprise that it's your boy Dre, who's the only one left. But there is not a fighting chance here for LG. Xset come out swinging on map number one and look absolutely fantastic. Stellar, one might even say, no pun intended, as Xset really put the hurt on LG. Again, the last time these two teams played on the map, it was actually LG who picked up the win 13 to 10. Your boy Dre at least gets a <laughs> into tree for a split into the A side. We're just around the corner. It's going to be Thwaifo at the sliding door. Melts down two faces and Pura gets a third kill. This is a perfect hold right now for load into this market. It starts off with the Leer and the Boombot towards spawn side to push that defender back towards spawn if there was actually anybody rotating from the tree side. A smoke, a counter smoke as well into the market. You're walking into the unknown for LG, but now there's just starting to swarm towards that site as a recon guard is perfect for BCJ to get a kill. But while that happens, everybody's still running into the site to open it up. Aaron trying to saddle charge into the site with the drive-by with the saddle charge that you sometimes see here with the SMGs, but no oppositions here on a pulse plant yet as LG has four players now stacked up inside this B site. Here. It's gonna be a difficult retake here as he goes to smoke out the dark. Moose is just too quick with the shots through the wall. Good dates coming down, but Heron can't find the finisher. And as a result, it'll be LG's round to take. We talked about the success rate of these side. If you remember, this is a round they lost in that second half against Immortals in their series. The pattern was almost identical. They do get the openers they need to get on the site. After losing one, though, to the one player anchoring on B. Ten seconds left. Or A, excuse me. Five Spike will be planted, and they've got everyone coming through from heaven. It's a four-man retake, all coming through from a similar position. Um, Aaron, hello? <laughs> I'm so confused there. How that worked door is going to be shut retake's going to be Five even harder two. now you've got a proto on cat oh, maybe not i thought for sure a proto would at least get one from that position but now that's a weapon upgrade and more opportunity gained here as bcj tries to go full spam the position given away and moose gets the kill through the floor returning the favor there's a showstopper ult being sent down it's actually going to take out a close target but not the player who was sitting inside hell and those kills just pile important for them left. right now. You can see there is a tripwire down on short as well from their Cypher to make things a little bit harder for them. Got the ults coming through from Stellar and he commits. Yeah. A last second peek comes in from Swifo. And incredibly, they found themselves at an advantage here as they try to take the site purer again with the shot coming out. Your boy Dre trying to keep his head on a swivel, but you can only spin so many times before you... But you already have your boy Dre dead here on that catwalk. Thankfully, though, we've made it up towards that sidewalk. It's a double towards the back of the site. We're trying to get that Odin out, but it's once again pure. Catches a proto is trying to surprise him towards that spawn side. And as they hold back towards the boathouse, finally, they both drop inside. And Stellar, who watches the rotation, catches Aaron, and the advantage comes back in favor of LG. Again, the dart not smoked early enough. Pure has to be careful. You can hear the shots coming through the wall, and you see the tracers whizzing past his forehead. No charges left. Pure, though, able to survive for the time being. The door does get shut. 
with Stellar. The, the Lurk play coming on the back end. Suddenly eliminated. All the sudden it's down to a one-on-one. -on -one. You've got Thief back site, no flashes, does have Devour and Dismiss available. There's one tapping the spike on the site. Quickly, it's gonna be we did an X set somehow managed to get back into the site and they will even scoop up and off from sidewalk and sorry towards the entrance you have a hunter skewer that pings two and he gets a double kill onto moose and stellar an early five on three and that shambles any plans to try to explode into the a site probably off the back of your boy dre's showstopper getting flashbacks to that series against Immortals, yeah, where Gangsta amazing. was consistently hitting that ult. Again, we talked about oh, it. Man. Eight ult kills in the series for Gangsta. Finally, they stop him, but off the back of not much of a buy here, and even the showstopper doesn't get much. But it's good enough to run right behind there. So two players to set up for the trades, but Thwaifo had perfect one ways on the... Oh, you can hear that showstopper ult sent out early, not going to clear the corner, doesn't matter, Aaron gets the flick back. They're taking the fight straight at them. And already down to just one, of course it's pure to find that final kill. Kills at least some damage, low HP is going to be the spike planner, which is going to be BCJ. But very similar as how they execute into the site, going through that catwalk with the recon dart and also the paranoia. But here comes a retake. Four players on the top of heaven, one coming through the door. It's going to be Thief getting the first blood for this pistol, but gets immediately traded out. And they're still waiting to bust open this door. Drop it towards hell. It's going to be three players under there, and it's a perfect crossfire bait and switch in favor of Exit, leaving only Stellar on his own at the doorway. Right clicks all across, and it's going to be the distance of the ghost. As they go for the B take, there is some presence here from LG, a little bit of force. You've got one on site. Ooh. That's a proto who connects. You've still got Moose to deal with. He's playing back steps, has to watch out as there's targets now floating around on left. the other side. Your boy Dre is in position as well. They haven't actually taken the site yet, so they've still got time to try and shut this out. They might actually decide to go through the door and ship to another site, but they're gonna go no right time. at Moose. Moose gets the first one, but like you said, no time. They had to go. Trying to stop the bleeding as we'll see an A take come through. The nade's gonna flush that player out Ooh. of position. Thief on the other side of the door. That's actually huge. But Thief is so low on HP left. and you can see it in the third person cam there. Runs out wide. Pure is standing right next to him like, dude, what are you doing here? <laughs> Ends up getting the kill. And again, we find a three on three. Spike going to be planted momentarily. Got three players no coming through left. from heaven. Or two coming through from heaven. One garden. As the ciphers drop down and... Waiting on the other side of the door that's since been taken care of. A proto. Nice shots from the sheriff in the back side of his target. It's now down to BCJ. In hell, they've spotted him with the cam as well. They know that he's here. There's the swing from A proto. They keep themselves alive. Five rounds for LG. They've still got some fight left. Is already going to get close towards that switch, and we have the Blade Storm out for Pure, who's looking for the flash and dash off the paranoia. He makes it towards that switch. He's looking back towards the spawn, but he's down to 15 HP as, as he's feeling fully, oh. being fully spammed and also pinged by a dart. A proto needs to remaining. step up, but who worries about a proto when you've got Moose on site puffing up his chest? Which is why now for Exet, they're regrouping together and they're just looking for another explosion into the a site execution. There's the ult as well from We Did, getting him into position. You can see the kills piling up for both teams as the recon dart starts to give away positions. Moose has managed to sneak out. BCJ just wasn't ready for that. So Moose, Thunderfoot out of heaven. They'll get the spike planted, but it's down to just the last few seconds on the round, and that's what allows them to get out here oh. so quickly. Got a little scary there. They lined up, but a proto dodges the bullet. That should be a little bit easier for them. You saw that opener from Stellar, from Heaven. Thief then just goes for a peek with a rifle and gets nothing. Mm -hmm. Thief struggling currently at the bottom of the score. The Hunter's Fury that is trying to go back towards the A side, but this could be it. Aaron's already made his way towards spawn. Your boy Dre is the first to fall. A proto in the back of the site from the shadows back towards the shed side. The spray does not come out. That is already two down. Down to a five on two. This could be it now for Exit. Moose now towards standing. that spawn side. It's going to be the last man standing. 